It's crazy to me how the RTS genre over the past 20 or 30 years hasn't really had that much evolution and change. Yes, we've got new entries into the genre, and yes, we have got new and updated styles to it, but nothing that's really tried to shift or change it dramatically. At least nothing that strikes me as impactful as something like Battle Aces, the upcoming game from Uncapped Games, led by David Kim, who used to work at Blizzard and Relic. See, Battle Aces has approached the RTS genre by completely stripping away the base building. It's focusing on fast-paced, snappy, action-oriented, real-time battles. And so you have this core part of the RTS genre that has had the rest of it stripped away. One of the things that they mentioned when we were talking to them was that they wanted to get rid of the tedious actions and that multitasking that you have in RTSs. Things like your mules, if you're familiar with StarCraft, or your adrenaline. That's gone. They want you to focus on the army building and the actual fights, because that is the source. That is the fun part of an RTS. And so, when you're approaching something like that, you have to question, well, what do players want? How do we approach that? And how do we give them something fun? And Uncapped Games has done that by making sure that you have the ability to customize your army through new things like the unit deck. The unit deck is the way that you actually pick which troops you're going to take into battle. Think of it like a part deck builder, part RTS. You see, Battle Aces allows you to pick which units you want to go through different cards. There's more coming out later throughout season passes and as the game progresses, we're going to get more units. That means more options, more strategies, more combinations. There's your complexity. But outside of that, Battle Aces is going to just give you a base on a map. You're going to have economy that's handled for you and you have to tech up, build your units and survive. And that's it. It's a purified, polished down experience for an RTS. And through our time playing the game and testing out 1v1 and also 2 versus AI, which is a great feature to have, the one thing that really became apparent to us was the game is trying to remove that weird kind of stagnant period at the beginning of a game. Where you have those like two to three minutes of, well, I'm building up my base, I'm getting myself set up, maybe I'll expand here a little bit, maybe I'm going to like get my economy going, okay, and then like, okay, now I've got my little base up, now I can focus on everything else. That's gone in Battle Aces. In Battle Aces, the very first thing I did was just spit out some units and run them across the map. It's crazy that uh, something that I was so used to and something that was so familiar to me is completely gone now. And I realized the more that I played Battle Aces that I didn't actually enjoy that part of the game. Yes, I enjoyed base building. That I love that in an RTS, but not that same mundanity of every game I played, I do the same steps, same way every single time at the beginning of it. And so it really felt like Battle Aces was trying to innovate on the design of an RTS by taking away that tedium and adding something different there instead. You're not forced to have to run that treadmill every time. Instead, every game you load into, you could load in with a different army, a different setup, and a different strategy. And it will play from second one differently. To upgrade is just a click, and that's it. To build a unit is just a click if you have the economy for it. And that was so crazy that I'm not sat there panicking as someone's destroying my stuff, waiting for these units to complete before I can send them out. It was crazy to actually be able to just go, well, I have the money, bam, 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 bam. Now I have some units and off I go. It was odd though that when talking to David, as he was very kind to give us some time for an interview, one of the questions that instantly jumped to the forefront of my mind was if this is your RTS and you've stripped out this core aspect of it to some people and you have kind of made this more focused down version how do you manage to bring in new players while also maintaining those hardcore players like how do you level out that curve so that it's both easy entry and hard to master and he explained that one of the ways that they've done this was by the very fascinating deck building aspect of your army you see when you build an army in battle aces it's not pick a faction it's pick troops. Each one has a different card, and you pick out which ones that you essentially want to use in your army for this game, and then that's it, off you go. So you might focus on small, fast units, you might focus on aerial stuff, you might focus on big, heavy units. There is a different strategy and a different approach for each one. And of course, you have to consider, well, what if my opponent is going for this? What if my opponent is going for that? 
So it's easy entry because you don't have to worry about the macro and base management. You just get straight into the fights and it's hard to master because, well, what strategy is going to work best from the units I have available to me of what I can pick? And I need to make sure I cover enough bases that if my enemy does something and my opponent is thinking a certain way, that I can approach it and deal with it in a certain way. It really kind of felt purified and this kind of like polished down aspect that had really been focused on rather than just staying with the traditions and the kind of mundanity of the standard RTS. It was refreshing to me to see this new take on something that I was so used to. It felt slightly alien at first when I just kind of got confused at, oh, is this all there is? Like, where is the base building? Is that not part of this? And then the more time I spent playing Battle Aces and the more games that I got in, I realized that the strategy was in my army. The strategy had moved from how I built my base to instead, which troops do I pick? Where do I put them? What is my army comp going to look like? How many of which unit do I need? Okay, that's then running up against my opponent. And how has my opponent built theirs? Okay, now that I have that information, I need to adjust and I need to adapt. Did I bring the right units for this? And so there's that wonderful complexity built into the strategy of your unit compositions between each match. And it makes you feel more like a kind of tactical genius when it plays out and works correctly. Like, oh, I built the right units. I brought the right things for this fight. And so it's going to work out for me. And that was great to see. You see, the deck building aspect of this game is something that's fascinating to me. I feel like it has really great legs. It's got a great strength. And I'm really shocked to see that it hasn't been kind of tried before in this kind of way with this kind of genre. Taking these two and smashing them together really does feel like it works. And it was very interesting to sit down with David and listen to him talk about his past and his history with the RTS genre, working on StarCraft and working at Relic and seeing how players were kind of stuck in their ways and then giving this game to Korean pros or giving it to casuals and seeing how they approached it and what styles they did differently. And also how when you're making a game like this, one of the key things to focus on is the art design. You need units that are readable and understandable quickly so that you can see what your opponent is doing and you can see from your army layout what is going on. And sci-fi really does give you a good strength for that. You are really kind of have carte blanche when it comes to how you design troops and units when it's sci-fi. Fantasy kind of has a more stuck in its way look. You know what arch is going to look like. You know what a dragon looks like. Whereas in this, if a unit is called a goliath, you really kind of get to play with that. Of course, there are some ones that you will understand just by the name. A king crab unit looks like a crab, which is great. A bullet looks like a bullet. And that's, of course, fantastic. The unit design is one of the strongest parts of this game as well. I like how the units look. I like how I can customize them and change different things about them in regards to their appearance. And it really does feel like they're kind of making it so that it's going to be this fast-paced, strategy-based combat system in a game that really strips away everything else that wasn't really needed to get you to this point. We sat down with David and we had a great interview with him. That's over in a different video. I didn't want to clutter this one with it. This is just our impressions of having played through Battle Aces recently and what we think of it. I'm not a huge, huge RTS person. They're not how I live and breathe. I'm a casual RTS enjoyer and I enjoyed this game. And if you are a casual RTS enjoyer, I really do recommend that you go and look at some of the upcoming betas and the upcoming phases that they're going to do and try and get in one and try Battle Aces for yourself. Games aren't that long and they are very fun to take part in. And when you get to grips with it, when you understand how the different units play with each other, you will see a lot of fun here. There's even a uh, advantage and disadvantage system of different unit types have advantages over other ones. Small, big, anti-big, splash, etc. And it really adds to this. But yeah, if you would like to see our full interview with David, that is linked in the video somewhere on the screen. And if you have any questions or queries about Battle Aces, feel free to leave them down below. If you have tried the game, if you were in one of the betas, if you are actually playing the game, feel free to talk about it. Let us know what you think about it. Let us know how you got on with it. But until then, if you're an RTS fan, by all means, please check out Battle Aces. We did, and we came away very happy with what we saw. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.